Well, that time of year had returned once again. That time where anticipation is at a year-round high for the long-awaited changes in scenery. A time when summer sings its swan song and the air isn't quite so hot each passing day. A time where taking a morning hike in the woods will reveal the slow beginnings of colored foliage. But you have to keep your eyes peeled to notice some of the other changes that take place in the early fall season. Cool, crisp mornings are certainly refreshing. And the stage is then set for finding the active areas on frequent daily road trips. Yo, what's up? Each year in the fall, I've been taking a trip in October to go to a different place, spend a weekend and enjoy the the leaves and the foliage in different areas because at home it's the same old song and dance and we really don't live in a great region for fall foliage there's not any mountains around or anything and of course mountains are some of the best to experience the the fall changes in my opinion so next year i'm looking at going up to uh the, the central pa area uh, some of the mountains up here close to State College and it's not that far from home it's a two and a half hour drive for the most part but I'm looking to scout this year because I want to I want to time it up best I can and I know falls are you know each year at fall and fall is different today is Wednesday it is the 25th of September and in the mid-state area of Pennsylvania, you have mountain ranges that run right through it. I want to see how early these leaves start becoming relevant in, in terms of the changing colors. So I'm, uh, I'm taking a trip up today. It's just a day trip up and back, scouting out the situation of the leaves right now. Next week, it's October. And you know that's the money month. For foliage, for foliage for most of the area here in the northeast and, and then I will book my cabin up here for next year and hopefully time it best I can so it, it's all about kind of like scouting taking notes and then going off of that from year to year trusting that it's going to be a good one and then hey we'll see but anyways it's just it's just fun driving through the middle of Pennsylvania. The scouting report so far is that within the last, I don't know, 50 miles, a lot of the yellows have already started. They're not fully turned yet, but there's definitely a difference. It's not fully green anymore.
Another video. What's today? Okay. It's a little Today is October 1st, 2022. No. I mean 2024. <laughs> yep. And we're picking our pumpkins. All right, which one did you claim, Aaron? This one. Okay. That's oh, probably man, that's, the biggest that's, one. That's the biggest one. Rory, no, claim, that one Rory claimed that one. Here, uh, Shannon. That one's the biggest one. Which one do you want, Shanny? Daddy, guess what? I they sound like drums. Ready? No. This is our pumpkin patch this year. We got six pumpkins. Daddy. Daddy. No. Oh, with that. Oh, I thought you meant like cut it open. I'm like, bro. I might roll down the hill. Stop it. That one's gonna roll. Oh yeah, it is. But you wanted this one. Yeah. So that one. Kind of fungus or something. Yep. Yeah. Right, let's go cut Aaron's. Did you say yours? Here, Aaron, hold this. Hi. Hi. Aaron's got the biggest one. Oh, the pumpkin rolling down the hill. Remember that book? Oh, yeah, that big, huge pumpkin. Yeah. Yours is. So, again. A little yeah. cucumber fell. A little cukey. A little cukey cukey. The grounds. There's one. Uh, yeah. Yes, but not There's right another now. one. This is Where? Later? Where? Like later? Yeah, that's today? That's a good. That's later definitely today? The uh, no, Thank I'm going to go in the bar when it stops raining. Like, um, no. Then there were many a day that I'd drop my kids off at school and then just keep on driving. There were some days I gave myself a specific destination to check out. And there were others where I just drove around aimlessly, turning down back roads that I've never been on before. I do this every year, but this time I made it a point to try some new areas. Areas that I'd revisit again after a couple of weeks so that I could document the progress. October had just begun, and the changes were still on the early side, as it is each year around here. But taking these little trips gave me great insight on what locations would be ripe and when. Some of these early autumn changes just feel magical, especially with an early rising sun piercing through to warm up a cold, crispy morning.
As the days consistently get cooler, some of the mornings begin to bring the fog and the mist that won't lift until late in the a.m. The lakes and the other bodies of water will also tell you that their internal temperatures are plummeting if you take the time to drop by and catch the clues. Then, you'd start to see fully turned trees, here and there, showing off their stuff and giving the go time signal for the rest of the bunch to follow suit. And as those multiply, it's only just a matter of a couple of weeks until the entire forests are vibing with color. But for now, those small patches were growing in size and becoming more and more frequent among the backdrops. I made my way back up to the central Pennsylvania mountains for my second trip to scout that area. It was two full weeks after that first trip from earlier and there was a noticeable difference in the foliage, although still very much on the early side of things. It was certainly ahead of where we were back home, but only by about a week or so, I'd say. I drove most of the same roads I'd taken a couple weeks prior, and the differences gave me a good read on planning for next year's trip. These mountains are very close to the place I went camping at late this past summer. If you haven't seen that video yet, you can check it out here, but it goes in depth about some of these central PA mountains and what you can find there. It was time to enter the beef of October, and the show's main event was just outside the doorstep. I found myself busier than I've ever been, searching and capturing the local peak autumn foliage. And I plan to show you much more on that for next time.